this project with Viva Decor's Glass Effects Gel has a stained glass look. This butterfly is a Sizzix butterfly, and it's, of course, it's, it's a die cut, so it's got the openings and the wings. And what I've done is I just glued it to a piece of white cardstock, and I'm adding the color to the wings, and each time I add a color, I'm dragging it with my finger to give it less, put less paint in some places, and it gives a really nice graduated transparent effect. I do all of the colors at one time instead of, you know, finishing one little portion, and that way I don't keep my, once I've kept my pen back, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, I've got the violet in place. And now I'm going to come back with the yellow. And do the same thing. Now you could use a brush to get this effect as well. And all I do is is I drag my finger down and immediately wipe it off on a paper towel so because I don't want to contaminate my colors. And I don't want to get it everywhere too. But like I said, you can use a brush for it. Another cool thing that you could do with this particular die is to cut out two sets of the wings, which will make a full butterfly, and then cut two pieces of acetate with the solid color that's on the same die, glue it behind the black, and then do your coloring in, and you could actually have a three-dimensional butterfly that you could hang in a window, and it would just be gorgeous. And our last color is the green. Now when you have finished with this, you may have some of the glass effects gel onto the black portion of the butterfly. And if you don't like that look, the fact that it's not all solid, you can use transparent glass effect gel and just go over the black lines and that will make the entire butterfly shiny. But you could use this for any type of die cut that has openings in it. It doesn't have to be a butterfly. All you gotta do is add a couple of little antenna with a Sharpie and you're done. <laughs>